Say hello to everybody, Imogen. Meow. Yeah, that's Imogen, everybody. We're going to show you the garden. I've been working out here the last couple days. Let's see what we've managed to get done. Okay, so um, kind of the same over in this area, but I've been more working in the back with the vegetables. Still have some carrots over here. Oops, I should walk so that the sun isn't on me. This is some onions. I'm going to put um, some squash and things in here. I think I've already got some seed. Got to deal with that. Back there is going to be some sunflowers, blackberries. Yes, Imogen. You can see the freesias. Got them in the front yard, too. Oh, they smell so good. Look at them, how they're getting ready to bloom. All going to be yellow. Yellow, as my mom would say. Uh-huh. And... Imogen, can you show them the lettuce? Here's the lettuce, and I planted some, and it didn't last. Some I planted with seed, and some have stayed. So we're gonna see how that goes. And then, of course, the radishes, these are the same. I filled in some spots where we were missing some. And there was a, there was a bed right here, and I took it out. And I'm so glad I did, because it made a lot more room. Also made it so that I'm able to get to the carrots back here because whenever you had the bed here, it was just really hard to reach over and did the carrots, even though there was a little space back here, but not, not enough to really get in, get in there and clean it out. And if you see these little, uh, I have things kind of blocked off, it's because I have cats and we also have their stray cats too. So we have to <laughs> protect the, the ground so we don't have little volunteer piles of things in our garden scratched in even though I will find Imogen from time to time sleeping back here on the carrots <laughs> but it's not so bad at least she's not leaving remains of herself I I transplanted the beets into this and you can see they didn't last I don't think they're going to make it we'll we'll see but I didn't have a choice because I had the beets were all in that area and I had to move them over she is just really adamant about having a talk with everybody. So, hello. Okay. Hello, Imogen. Hello. Okay. So, um, I took this Cecile Broomer rose completely down to almost nothing because it was really overwhelming. It was growing into these, um, these, this tree thing up here, bush up here that I can't stand, but it's in my neighbor's yard. So, it was growing up into it. And it was just getting... It just needed to be pulled back. I also painted this fence. I don't know if anybody remembers from the last time, but it was a blue, a very blue. And it had, it was just, it had been painted last in 2002 and it was just in very bad shape. So I repainted the fence. And this is where I do tomatoes. This is where in the backyard, this is our tomato area. So what I did is I'm trying something called composting in place which is different from what I've been doing in the past for years and years. And what I've done is I've dug a hole all through this and I put just garden scraps in here, just right into the hole and then covered it up with soil. And it was, um, it's supposed to really make a better, well, it's supposed to compact, I mean compact, compost in the place of the garden. So that should, um, should be good. Now I have had, I've planted a few tomatoes that I got from the garden center in here. And I've got a couple plastic bins. You can see here that I've just cut the holes in to protect them a little bit from from, from the garden. Look at look at Imogen. She's just like, oh, hey, everybody, I'm in my garden. Watch me. Can you roll over? Roll over, Imogen. <laughs> She's showing off how much she loves the garden in the sun out here. So going over here, this is a tomato that has lasted from last year when I planted it. And what I did is I... Uh, removed a bunch of um, in the area down here to, to give it so that it has more airflow and I took out a lot of the offshoots so that so that I can get more um, you know for the the nutrients to go to the to the tree I mean to the main stems so I'm gonna watch this this should be going this next year should have no problem. You can see I've got tomatoes right here getting ready to form. So we should have no problem with this going another year, believe it or not. It's a Cherokee 
purple it's called I don't know what that is but and then this is another one that survived and you can see it's already got a cherry tomato on there or some kind of cherry on there it is a let's look on this side let's see what that is it's a champion and I actually have some other champions in here and this is husky cherry red and so you can see there's cherries on there already there's forks in here and things that's to keep the cats out so that's what that is so i've got some i've got to start and seed but i i uh, haven't gotten that far now i painted this fence this whole fence it used to have a giant jasmine here and i took it out because it's just prime real estate and i want to i want to use it for vegetables something to climb on so i've got snow peas here and there's the icelandic poppy there's a couple of them there so i'm i put this on the fence to so i can grow the snow peas on it and back here i cleaned it up a lot these are all potatoes that you can just dump out and you can eat the potatoes and put them back in and let them grow some more this is going to be carrots this one right here i put some more soil in i did i put a bunch of compost in it these are all onions that'll take a long time to to mature but those are onions and then back in here is my compost area that I'm going to use not as much as I've had in the past because, like I said, I'm going to try composting in place this year. But I have put these drawers that were <laughs> in my garage. I saved them because I darn well want to use them for something. So I, I cover, covered them with um, uh, spray. What is it called? Pile... Py I'll think of the word as soon as I, as soon as I hang this up. But anyway, so I've, I've composted it. I put dry like sticks and stuff at the bottom. And then I put some wet stuff in it. Not a lot of compost that's really wet, but I did, there's a lot of worms in there. Because when I pulled out this, these two, and I turned these piles, there was a zillion and a half worms in there. So what's gonna go in these two is I have some radishes to go in and another one will be baby carrots. So I think that'll be fun, a nice place to do. I'll be able to work on them with, you know, my height instead of having to bend over to do it. And I've got a couple more that I'm waiting to um, get the soil in there. I haven't got that yet. But around the corner, strawberries. Um, we have a few still in there and I put this all against the fence and I put the netting there so it doesn't go into the neighbor's yard when they grow. And over here, um, this is another thing I, I was seeing on online is a suggestion just to use your bins to grow things in. So against the fence, I'm going to put peas and beans and uh, things that will grow up against the fence. And I've used these recycled, I recycled these plastic bins and I've kind of hold them because I don't want to have a problem with snails and I think I'm out of sluggo so I'm just going to put them in there to guard the plants for a while and uh, the sticks are on there to keep them the plastic from falling off and I haven't planted anything in here yet but I will so what else is going on back here oh lots and lots of buds this is an apricot see just saw a little little tiny bird just hopping along and it was like sticking this little beak inside each of these i guess it's getting the nectar but underneath of the each of these trees i've got a lot of plants i planted last season so it should have a really beautiful ground cover with a lot of different colors there's lobelia and um uh, dahlias and and all kinds of things in here alyssum there's columbine and they'll be able to grow underneath the tree and have a lot of color because obviously we don't want anybody under the tree because it's just uh you know the branches are too low but you can see look at these apricots coming in um the leaves and stuff so that should be interesting to have a lot of color under here and it'll be a nice area mark and i like to pull our chairs out and put them under the trees when the branches start going and it's just a nice little shady area underneath here so that's always kind of fun back over in this area I've been working, as you can see, and look, I love this succulent. It's so beautiful. Depending on what the sun is, which angle of the sun, you've got yellows in there. Oh, another freesia, but this one's white. That's interesting. 
back in here a lot more succulents. I'm really liking these succulents. And uh, the sun comes over here. It'll, it's a little bit late right yet, but some of Mark's interesting statues need to be fixed up. But anyway, that's what's new. See you soon.